Welcome back to Nightline. I'm Gwen Hall, your host, and we're so glad you've joined us tonight. We're going to go back to Stan Wilson. He's going to do a song, and then Wade's got a, song, a real special message that the Lord's given him tonight just for you. So Stan's going to start us off tonight with a song called This Blood. The blood that cost a life that paid my way and death its price. But when it flowed down from the cross, my sins were gone, my sins forgot. There is a grave that tried to hide this precious blood that gave me life. But in three days he breathed again and rose to stand in my defense. And so I come to tell you he's alive, to tell you that he tries every tear that falls. And so I come to tell you that he saves, to shout and to proclaim that he's coming back for you. a blood that sights the blind that heals the sick and the lonely finds it has the power to free the bound as chains they fall upon the ground so pour it out to cleanse my soul and let his precious, precious glory flow. Because it lives to make me whole, I owe my life, I owe my all. So I come to tell you he's alive, to tell you that he tries every tear that falls. And so I come to tell you that he saves, to shout and to proclaim that he's coming back for you. Precious blood, the blood of Jesus, and what can wash away my sins? Nothing, nothing, and what can that tried to hide this precious blood it gave me life but in three days he breathed again and rose to stand in my defense 
What a song. And I'll tell you, he is alive, and he is well, and he is right there. He's right here whenever you need him. He's ever-present. I can just feel his presence here tonight. Praise God. This week, uh, the Lord just kind of laid some thoughts on my heart, and I and, uh, told Gwen that there was a few things I felt like I could share tonight. And, and it's a little bit, it goes along with, our prayer partners, and, and they're taking your request of your needs. And we're talking about your needs tonight in some ways. And in this little short message, there's several different rabbit trails I could take off and I could go down. And if I happen to get started down one, just go with me. But uh, it is so important to know God. We got to know who He is. And we got to develop a personal, uh, intimate relationship with Him. It's one thing to know of Him. A lot of people in this world know of Him. And I'm afraid to say in so many cases, even in our churches, there's a lot of people that know of Him, but they've not had that personal relationship with Him. And you've got to have that. That is life within life that is within you. And that's where so many blessings come from. You know, to know that God is here in the abstract out here somewhere, that's one thing. But to know that He is here within you, that He is here leading and guiding and directing you, that is something totally different. Now, I'm going to go to a scripture. You may think it's a little different, but I'm going to go over this and come back to it later. I'm going to Daniel. I'm going to the uh, third chapter. And many of you know this story. It's about Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And it's about the King Nebuchadnezzar and how he got caught up with himself and decided he was going to build a God made out of gold. And let me tell you something, he expected everybody in the kingdom to bow down. But he ran into three guys that knew God. And I want to read just a little bit here, uh, third chapter, 13th verse, starting there. Then Nebuchadnezzar, in his rage and fury, commanded to bring Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego that they might be brought, these men, before the king. And the reason they're doing that is because some people snitched on them. They said, hey, these, there's some guys out here that are not bowing down. So the king got upset with that. And Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego had been put in places of authority within the kingdom. And uh, reading on, and he spake and said unto them, Is it true, O Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego? Do ye, serve, do ye not serve my gods, nor worship the golden image which I have set up? He set up. Man set up. Now if ye be ready that at the time that you hear the sound of the cornet, the flute, the harp, the sacrament, the paltry, the dulcimer, and all kinds of music, ye fall down and worship the image which I have made. Well, he said, but if ye worship not, shall be cast the same hour into the midst of a burning fiery furnace, and who is that God that shall deliver you out of my hands? Oh boy, I don't think I'd want to make a statement like that. Who's that God that's going to deliver you out of my hands? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said to the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, we are not careful 
to answer thee in this matter. You know, they didn't have to think about it. They not at all. If it be so, our God whom we serve is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace and he will deliver us out of thine hand, O king. Well, I want to go from there now over and talk a little bit about uh, what is so important in our lives is things that happen to us and when we need things. So many prayer requests come in Monday through Friday. In those prayer requests are all kind of needs. It could be anything from a headache. It could be eye problems. It could be heart trouble. It could be lung problems, kidneys. It could be back trouble. Whatever. So many needs in the way of health uh, are there. And in the way of finances and family problems. All these things that we have need of for God to answer prayer and to help us get through. Uh, there's also situations you know, this day and time, drugs and other addictions. It's running rampant across our nation. Boy, do we need God deliverance from there. And also you have people calling in for salvation. And, and what's sad is so many times I've run into people that don't even know the name Jesus. Did you hear what I said? They don't even know the name Jesus. Who is he? What are you talking about? Those people don't even know that God is there. They've not been to church, not even been taken to church. Brother and sister, us as parents need to have our children in church. We need to be in church. We need to be building that relationship with the Father. And you know, we need to be, we look for answers in everything in life. Uh, go to Proverbs uh, 3, 5, and 6. I'm going to just touch on that real quick. And it says, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not to thine own understanding. In every way acknowledge him, and he shall direct your paths. That's what we need in our lives this day and time, is him directing and leading and guiding each and every day what we need. Gwen and I, when we wake up in the morning, we ask the Lord, Lord, what would you have us do today? Lord, put someone in our path today. Lord, we need you to lead, guide us through this day. And we do. We need him. I don't want to face a day without him. I want him in my life. And, you know, I've heard people say, too, in the past few years, that, that the time of healing and deliverance and things like that were for yesteryear. They were for the disciples. My God is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. What he did yesterday, he's going to do him today. He was healing yesterday. He showed the way, and there's healing in the house today. There's deliverance in the house today. Whatever you need, it's here. And we serve a God that's more than able to provide on anything that you face. And, you know, he told those disciples to go into all the world and what? Preach the gospel. The Lord laid it out. He laid a plan out. He showed us the way. He showed us examples. And he said, now go. And man has been going ever since. We need to minister all, wherever we're at. Gwen, myself, you, wherever. We're all ministers unto this gospel. And we need to be letting it out. Showing people. Living a life that that will attract people. I'll never forget one time uh, at a funeral, they was my mother was there. And, oh, she was a good godly woman, a praying woman. Gwen would tell you how they get on the phone together and sometimes they would pray for one, two, and three hours. It's a good thing we didn't have party lines today like we did back then. They would sure have it tied up. But I'll tell you that she was at that funeral one day and there's this woman walked up to her and says, Ma'am, I don't know you but I can see something about you, your face. There's just something different. It's the Lord that made the difference. He makes the difference in our lives. Just like uh, uh, I, li I like to watch golf. I like to try to play golf. I'm not good. I already ate courses. But I'll tell you right now, I heard a story about a golfer, a man that came to a meeting that we were at. And what he did was he walked in there and uh, he told this golfer, he said, i, I got to ask you a question. I played around with you. I've been on the, the pro golf circuit with you. What is it that's about you that's different? He didn't hesitate. He looked the man in the eye and says, it's the Lord that made the difference. 
And, and he saying that to that man that day helped him come and know the Lord. See, it's the life you live. You don't always have to say it. It can be in your actions and the things that you do and the way that you carry yourself. Why? We're children of the King. His royal blood flows in our veins too. I'll tell you. Amen? Amen. Philippians 4 and 9. But my God shall supply all your needs according to His riches in glory by Christ Jesus. He'll supply every need that you have. Need. There's a lot of things I'd like to have in life I want. But you know, I may not need those things. I want God's will in my life. I want Him supplying, supplying what I need each and every day in my life. It makes such a difference if we go that route. Do you remember the uh, breakfast jingle that was years ago? Some of you may be too young for this one. K-E-L-L-O-G-S. Kellogg's the best for you. You know, that was a jingle to get you start eating Kellogg's you know, in the morning to get you, it's something that would get your day started, build fiber and strength to go for the day. Well, let me tell you, we need to start our day on our knees or with the Lord first thing in the morning with Him and let Him be our strength, guide, and the direction for that day. Amen. He's the one that we need in our lives. We need to, we're forgetting Him sometimes and leaving Him on the sidelines. We need Him right in the middle of what we're doing each and every day of our lives. Because we're serving the King of Kings. We're serving the Lord of Lords. And He is an on-time God ever present in all that we do and need. I'll tell you, He is the great physician. You call in for healing. You look at you know, the prayer request. It may be for a brother. It may be for yourself or someone else, a friend. Let me tell you, He is the healer. He is Jehovah Rapha. He is the one that healeth. And you're doing the right thing by calling in and saying, please join me in prayer. Lift this prayer up. That's what we need to do. Put Him in the forefront on all things that we do. If it's family problems, well, get God back in the family. Get evenly yoked and pulled together. Well, you don't know. God knows. He knows exactly what we need, when we need, and how we do it. Addictions, deliverance, we need that. We need that in our lives. I'll tell you right now, people are getting so addicted to drugs out here. They're addicted to alcohol, but we serve a man who can deliver. He's, I'll tell you, he walked up. He said, uh, the man came to him and said, my son, oh boy, my son's got problems. He needs deliverance. Well, Jesus didn't hesitate. He delivered him. There is deliverance in the name of Jesus. There is deliverance that is out there. And salvation, you know Romans 10, 9, scripture that's used all the time. You know, we got to confess with our mouth that He is Lord, that He died and rose again, and that He is on the throne. He is there for you and I. I'm telling you right now, if you don't know Him as Lord and Savior, you need to get on these phones right now. Call our prayer partners and say, Hey, I don't know the Lord as my Lord and Savior. I need Him in my life. And they'll pray that prayer with you. You need to, if you've just backslid, you need to get him on the phone and call and say, hey, pray with me. I need to get back where I need to be with the Lord. I'll tell you, it's so important that we walk the walk. And not only walk it, we need to talk the talk. And I mentioned earlier, He is Jehovah Jireh. He is our provider of what we need. He is Jehovah Nisi. He's the banner that goes before us. That's what we ask about each and every day in our lives. God, lead, guide, and direct. We'll follow that banner. Go, Let Him go before you, but follow Him. And so many of you that call in so many times, you're going through turmoil, or, or you've lost a loved one, and it, and it hurts. Well, you know what? He is Jehovah Shalom. He is the peace speaker. He's the one that can speak that peace deep into your soul, that peace that passes all understanding. He's there to give it out, to help you, to encourage you, and to help you through these times. See, we as Christians are not immune to things happening in this world and around us, but I'll tell you what, I don't want to face the things that go on in this world or would in my life without Him. He's the one that gives me the strength and the ability to get through the things that we face in this life. It makes it so much easier. And I'll tell you something, when you're there, there's such a joy. And you know what the joy is? The joy of the Lord is what? It's our strength. And if we're walking in that joy, it is so wonderful. Amen. 
but we need to exercise our faith when we face things in life. We need to go to the Father. We need to say, Lord, I need you. I need a healing touch or I need a deliverance. I need, we need to go to the Father, the one who is the answer. Things in this world that go on around us are not our absolute. He is the absolute that we need to go to. And I want to go back as I close out here. It's going to take another minute maybe or two. But where we saw in Daniel, I love this. He said, if it be so, our God whom we serve is able to deliver us. And he will deliver us out of thine hand, O king. But I like this next verse. But if not, if not. If, you, if, if Lord is not providing what I need or what I'm looking for, if not, that's okay. Because if not, be it known unto thee, O king, that we will not serve thy gods nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. Let me tell you, no matter what comes your way in life, be sure that you do not bow down to anybody but the Lord God, Jehovah Almighty. He is our answer. He is our source. But He is also going to be there for you. I'm going to jump over to verse 25. And, he, and this is after the king got so mad at him, he threw him into the fiery furnace that had been heated seven times hotter. But look what happened. And he, uh, Then Nebuchadnezzar, the king, was astounded. He rose up in haste and spake and said unto the, his counselors, Did we not cast three men bound into the midst of the fire? They answered and said unto the king, True, O king. He answered and said, Lo, I see four men loose walking in the midst of the fire, and they have no hurt. And the form of the fourth is like unto the Son of God. Let me tell you, when you're going through the fire in your life, you've got the Son of God right there with you, beside you, in you, helping you get through and face anything that you may be facing. So whatever your need is out there today, I'm telling you, put it in the hands of the Lord God Almighty and then start saying, thank you, Lord, for the answer. Don't forget to praise Him. Well, I don't still feel like it. Well, the Bible talks about sacrifice of praise. And that's a whole other message. You reach right down inside and still praise Him until that full answer comes. God bless you. Now we're going back to some more wonderful singing. Stan's going to sing, We Will Rise Above It All. above it all we will rise above it all there's no doubt about it God hears us when we call we will rise above it all the ship sails east the ship sails west by the same gale that blows. It's the set of the sail and not of the gale that determines which way she goes. When life comes crushing in on you and you're down beneath the load, set your mind towards the wind and let the spirit blow. Storms will come, storms will go, and the seasons will always change. No matter what is going on, 
God's love stays the same. And we must know He's in control, and the storm too shall pass. If we we'll bow our knee to the King of Kings, our dawn will come at last. We will rise above it all. no doubt about it, God hears us when we call, we will rise above it all, oh, we will rise above it all, we will rise above it all. no doubt about it, God hears us when we call, we will rise above it all, yes we will rise above it all, we will rise above it all. We will rise above it all. Stan Wilson, thank you for the wonderful music tonight. Way that was an awesome word that hey, you brought forth. We just him. give God praise for it's that. It's about him. It's about him. It's That's about right. Him. One last praise report real quick I want to touch <laughs> on. Here is a woman called in her son who had been thinking about suicide. Law, uh, wife had, his wife had passed away. Got really discouraged and everything. But been calling 16 for prayer. Prayer's called up with him. He gave his heart to the Lord and is doing fine. Amen. Praise God. Come on, let's give God praise for that tonight. That's awesome, Amen. Wayne. Glory Amen. to God. You know what? We have had an awesome night here tonight, and God is blessed and moving from our Nightline family to you. The Lord bless you and keep you till we come again on Friday night. Love you.